Swung on and lifted out towards right field. Racing back on a gimlet towards the warning track to the wall, and that ball is gone. The pitch from Rosenberger swung on and skied towards center field. That'll chase back Hazley. Long run at him over the shoulder, and he makes an incredible catch. Next one called, strike three. Fastball at the top of the zone. Back-to-back -back Hayes for Adam Hazley. At any given moment in every game, you will see number seven on the field. Adam Hazley has his fair share of responsibilities, playing in the outfield, pitching, and hitting at the top of the lineup. It's a unique opportunity that attracted him to UVA's baseball program and pushed him to succeed. I think what stuck out to me was coaches, really, how much they were involved in the lives of the student athletes that they had here. And the academic side of the school was, you know, really encouraging, enticing. And I think a combination of those two is what, you know, really convinced me and my family that was the right place to go. Coach Kuhn and Coach O'Connor told me that they would give me the opportunity to do both, and they'd had guys before do it. It's something I've been doing since I was in high school, so it's nothing like terribly new. You know, it's something that you just kind of kind of get used to, and having a couple of years now doing it kind of helps out. And it's a little busier than what most of the guys are doing, but it's something that I like to do. It's usually I have to throw and then go hit in like the same five minutes. So you know, it's just something that I kind of become accustomed to. And whether you get out or get a hit, you got to put that away and go back and pitch. So. It's something that I struggled with last year. I'd probably bring a couple at-bats on the mound with me and it would affect how I throw. So it's just doing it a few times and kind of getting used to it. I just enjoy playing as much as I can and as many innings as I can. Haven't been thrown at it in the fall of my freshman year. It's just kind of something that you get mentally accustomed to and physically as well. Just kind of go for it. And you know, guys that have to catch and hit, they probably do way more than I do. They're squatting nine innings a game or whatever. So it's not as much work as it seems. I think this fall really helped. A lot of reps and a few starts helped, so I'd say on the mound is probably where I would improve the most. Pitching and hitting, I thought maybe one of them would just kind of take its course and I would just kind of do that. I would I would never have, you know, my wildest dreams had played, or thought I'd play so much last year and get to do both this year. So everything is kind of surreal and I'm just thankful for the opportunities that they've given me. One of the sophomore's biggest opportunities was getting the start in game two of the College World Series Finals against Vanderbilt. In that game, he became one of only two players in CWS history to start on the mound and lead off. It's kind of a, a crazy thing to think about. It's an opportunity that the coaches have given me, and you know, I'm thankful for that. And it was definitely nerve-wracking most of the day leading up to it. Kind of being thrown in that role was definitely new, and I hadn't pitched but a month prior to that, so it was nerve-wracking and exciting at the same time. Hazley continued to make history the next day by scoring the winning run in the deciding game, earning UVA the national title. I think it was cool coming off the game before. And Paven stepped up that game and I just happened to be on for two of those hits. And it was cool enjoying that moment with him and both of us going through the process for the first year. And it was just a cool moment coming all that way and losing that first game and then coming back and winning the next two. It was really cool. Paven and I were new last year, kind of hitting. And kind of being thrown in the lineup and this year Matt has kind of taken us and has been encouraging us all year and having us two in the top kind of four people in the lineup so far and Matt's right there with us it's kind of been you know helpful to have that kind of veteran leadership that you know if we're struggling in the game or something he picks us up and kind of always giving us encouraging words. I think playing majority of, of the year last year kind of throws you into a a veteran and leadership kind of role this year. I think it's important for most of the second years to kind of step up and help out the first years that are, everything is new to them. And for the guys that did have a chance to play last year, it's you know, kind of second time around. And you know, it's important to help out those guys that are new. Individually, I think I just want to keep trying to help us win when I have to pitch and giving us a quality start and keeping us in the game. And from a hitting standpoint, I just want to give us a good start, and if, whether it's leading off a game or staying as consistent as I can. As a team, though, I, I think that, you know, we kind of turned the corner in the last couple games in the last few weeks, and I think that if we keep this thing going, I have a chance to you know, make another run in the playoffs. I just want to enjoy my time with you know, my teammates and coaches and do my best to give us another opportunity to make a run at what we were thankful to do last year.